All right, guys, so this is something I like to do when um, people are being really aggressive with their underhook from bottom half. A lot of the times when they underhook you, they give a lot of space uh, on the bottom because they post their elbow up. So you're able to actually re-underhook. And you're just going to put your hand in the middle of their back, and you want to kind of connect here. And then instead of trying to just squeeze them, almost put your uh, outside shoulder on the mat. Okay, so what that's going to do... Um, <clears throat> excuse me. What that's going to do from here is it's going to keep them flat and it's going to allow you to kind of get your head to the mat. And when you're getting your head to the mat, uh, come around here, Sophia. When you're getting your head to the mat, you want to kind of bring your knee to the hip to pinch. That way you can really use your head as a good post here. Okay, so all you do from here, because you have them so flat, is bring this foot in, staple. Make sure that you're using your shoulder here and your elbow here to kind of staple his arm and use your head to kind of pin his head too. So you're going to staple and just slide your knee up into the mat. One more time. So he's sitting up. He underhooks. I re-underhook on the bottom side. I want to try to connect my hands in the middle. And then instead of just squeezing, um, a butterfly grip would probably be best. So... This is a good one, the gable, but the butterfly is really good because your elbows are a little closer. So um, if you can get here, if not, this is fine. So just flatten them out. Staple with the head, staple with the shoulder. Bring the foot inside the leg here. Keep, uh, keep them completely flat. Keeping your chest in, making sure your body's coming down. Staple, slide the knee up and across. Yeah. Do you put your left knee, the butterfly hook, um, in there straight away to try to separate the legs when you're body locking from here? Or? So, are you asking do I wait till I have them flat? Yeah. Um, preferably because if you go here and you get under hook while you're connecting your hands, um, if you lift your hips up because they have an angle, if you go to lift your hips up, it gives him a chance to even roll under. So, if Tyson were to like. Well, come just... under my shin. Now he can elevate me. So I can't really get my body down the same way. So it's it's always best if you can wait or flatten them out. That way they don't have a chance to kind of get their hips under. Yeah. Then you can staple and come inside. Okay. <laughs> I feel the pressure just a little bit. Do you mind if I just... <laughs> Can we just mirror each other so that I can? Oh. <laughs> wow. I got, oh, what's happening? You know he's always, oh, this is, all right, what is happening? <laughs> is this an Ogie baseball joke? Yes. He's got to break your fingers a little bit. <laughs> that was tied. Fuck. <laughs> you didn't like I gotta stick to wrestling. Savage, <laughs> 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 yeah.